Hey Grey's Anatomy fans, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the dreamy world of Derek Shepard, the one and only no, Mick Dreamy. Confidence. See, I told you, you need to slow down. You know how we could have avoided this. Honestly. I feel better if the wall hadn't I say. From his first appearance to his last, he has stolen our hearts with his charm, compassion, and of course, that killer smile. Looking at me like that. Like what? Like you've seen me naked. So, grab your popcorn, get comfy, and let's count down the top 10 moments that truly made Derek Shepard McDreamy. Let's get started. And something's different. Nothing's different. Everything's the same, but yet still. Number 10. Starting off at number 10, we have It's Not the Chase. Meredith thought Derek only asked her out because he liked the chase. In a classic McDreamy moment, he found her in the intern locker room and said, It's not the chase. What? You and me. It is not the thrill of the chase. It's not the thrill of the chase. It's not a game. It's your tiny fists and your hair. It smells good. And you're very, very bossy. It keeps me alive. And your hair. My hair? It smells good. And you're very, very bossy. With a smirk, he said this, even though she still refused to go out with him. McDreamy definitely has a game. At number nine, we have, I was drowning and you saved me. And you must be the woman who's been screwing my husband. After the arrival of Addison, Meredith asked Derek what she was to him. He told her, you were like coming up for fresh air. It's like I was drowning and you saved me. Nine seasons later, he would once again bring up that conversation to tell Meredith that nothing had changed. A marriage and two kids later, and she was still saving him. Number eight. At number eight, we have Derek telling Addison the truth. Oh, no, well, yeah, it is Christmas. Mm. Christmas, Derek, we love Christmas. It was Christmas in Seattle, which made Derek want to be with the people he loved. And when he said that to Addison, it was clear he didn't mean her. As he told his wife, I'm not saying this to hurt you or because I want to leave you, because I don't. Meredith wasn't a fling. She wasn't revenge. I fell in love with her. Meredith wasn't a fling. She wasn't revenge. That doesn't go away because I decided to stay with you. Yet he would stay with Addison because McDreamy knew he had to do the noble thing and give his marriage another shot. Number seven. And at number seven, we have heroic tendencies. I'm scared. I know. You can do this. Instead of fleeing the hospital to avoid getting blown up by a bomb, Derek stayed to save Bailey's husband's life. And instead of obeying the lockdown to avoid getting shot by a gunman, he wandered the hospital to make sure everyone else was okay. These might not have been the wisest decisions, safety-wise, but they showed how brave Derek could be and how much he would risk for the people in his life. Number six, we have Derek Punch's Mark. Are you hitting on me? What do you do if you see your hunky ex-best friend flirting with the love of your life? <laughs> ah! If you're Derek, you blindside him with a punch to the face. Sure, it wasn't Derek's most rational moment, but it was dreamy to see him literally fight for Meredith. And at number five, we have the great god of neurosurgery. Well, it could be lodged in the break. Operating is hard enough. Operating on someone you know and care about adds a whole new layer of pressure but Derek handled that pressure with grace when he saved Burke's hand and removed Izzy's tumor and Addison's brother's cysts. His sister called him the great god of neurosurgery. Dr. Burke, Dr. Burke, gotta stay with me now. Number four. Coming off at number four, we have prom. Am I? Well, you could come in for a drink or a okay. uh, uh, coffee. I owe you one from this morning. Yeah, you do. After an entire season of trying to make things work with Addison, Derek finally gave in to his unrelenting feelings for Meredith. He knew that he should have been thinking about his wife, but all he could think about was Finn's hands on Meredith. He gave her a look across the dance floor that said it all. At that moment, 
Meredith couldn't fight it any longer. Number three. At number three, we have Derek telling Meredith to pick Finn. Hi. Hi. Ah. You know a man really loves you when he can put your happiness before his own, and that's exactly what Derek did when, after weeks of competing with Finn, he realized that Finn was the better guy. He told Meredith that she deserved someone who wouldn't complicate her life, who wouldn't hurt her. So, even though it broke his heart, he walked away. Of course, it didn't last long because even though Finn was the better guy, he wasn't the one. Number two, and at number two we have, I'm always gonna show up. Is about to disappear. You really wanna act like I'm the bad guy here? No, I don't. I know the fact that it is Adele changes things for Richard, but it doesn't for me. Oh, I understand. After Derek and Meredith got into a fight at the hospital, she left for home without him. By the time he showed up in her doorway, he was quick to apologize. There's nothing simple about that. I am very sorry that I messed everything up, but I would- But when Meredith was surprised to see him, he explained that this is how relationships work. People fight, and then someone apologizes. He then told her, From now on, you can expect that I'm going to show up. Even if I yell, even if you yell, I'm always going to show up. Finally, at number one, we have Derek saves Meredith from drowning. Most of Derek's best moments feature the neurosurgeon looking well and okay, but when he carried a blue Meredith out of the water, his face was anything but dreamy. He wore a look of pure anguish, a look that we rarely got to see from the usually calm Derek. Once he got her to an ambulance, he immediately started frantically performing CPR. At that moment, we got to see how desperately he loved Meredith and a hint of the pain he would feel if he lost her. And there you have it, folks, our top 10 moments that made Derek Shepard the unforgettable McDreamy. From his charming smiles to his heartfelt speeches, Derek has given us some of the most memorable moments in Grey's Anatomy. That was the last time we kissed. Which McDreamy moment is your favorite? So I guess part of being chief is personal. Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss a new video. Nothing's different. Everything's the same, but yet still, something's different. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.